What's going on, y'all? Carludo here, back with another video on your screen. I'm here with Edward, the kid, Vasquez. Um, heavy hitter. Um, tremendous match. A couple weeks ago, it was, um, I thought he won. You know, I want to hear it from you. And uh, I appreciate the time you've given me, bro. And, uh, you know, thank you for sitting down with me today. How are you? Oh, yeah. I'm good, man. I appreciate you having me on here and uh, you know, talk a little shit about the fight. Yeah, man. I mean, I, you know, you and everybody else thought I won. And I think he even thought I won. His team thought I won. Um, you know, I, I was able to control more of the fight and uh, display a little bit more of my, my ring generalship than he was. And so mm -hmm. I, I thought I did enough to win, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, he's, he's their investment and, you know, it, it, it comes with the territory. It comes with the game, man. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, what got you into boxing in the very beginning? I mean, I started fighting uh, when I was seven years old. Uh, really, I mean, really before that, like, um, you know, being born in a Mexican family, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's just part of your bloodline. You know, I have family members that boxed. And so uh, it was just always something that, you know, they got the family together, you know, when Oscar De La Hoya would fight, you know, we, we'd all have a cookout and stuff. So, uh I originally started off playing baseball as a kid, and then um, for my seventh birthday, I asked my dad to sign me up for, for boxing, and, uh, you know, we've been in the gym ever since. Wow. That's that's dope, bro. And, and 19 uh, years later. 19 years later. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, what do you think? What's your outlook on your last fight? And I, I mean, like I said, I, I think I won. I thought I won. Um, I would like, I would like a rematch if everything's right, you know. Um, that way, I can really put you set up. But like I said, man, I thought I won. I scored it uh, seven and two. I mean, seven and three. Some people have it eight to two. Um, you know, it is what it is. For sure, for sure. So what's uh what's next up for you? And um. Uh, this uh, my, so my, you know, I have a promoter, uh, DKO, or uh, sorry, T, uh, KO Night Boxing, and then my, my management is uh, DKO Boxing, and so uh, they, you know, they take care of everything right now, I'll, you know, I'm just taking the rest of the month off to kind of, you know, recover, I still, you know, stay in the gym, I stay active every day, but uh, taking some time to recover, and then I think at the end of February, um, we'll start to look at what's next, but, uh, you know, as of right now, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, that Eddie Hearn will come back with the you know, with the rematch offer, but we'll see, man. Uh, as of right now, you know, we're just recovering. That's dope, bro. And how was it working with Eddie Hearn, bro? Eddie Hearn was cool, man. You know, he, he treated me fair all throughout fight week. Um, you know, he, you know, really nice, humble guy. Um, you know, you know, uh, they kind of favored Ray, Raymond Ford, but, you know, I, that was all expected, you know, uh, going into, you know, their, their territory, their promotion. You know, working with him was cool. Like I said, he treated me fair, and, uh, you know, I would love to do it again. For sure, man. I really liked the, you know, the weigh-in and everything leading up to it. Um, sure, I knew sparks were going to fly. For sure. Hell yeah, man. For sure. And um, what's your all-time goal in the sport of boxing? Man, you know, I mean, just like every other fighter, you know, I want to become world champion, um, be able to, you know, provide for my family, um, and, you know, Ultimately, just be the best fighter I can, man. It's, it's what I strive for every day, man. You know, like I said, win or lose, I'm always, I'm always grinding, man. 24-7, I'm always looking for a way to improve. So at the end of the day, I just want to be the, the best fighter I can be and uh, become world champion, man. For sure. You have um one stadium that you would like to, you know, fight at? Yeah, man, I would love to fight at uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. I, I live literally just a few miles away, so I, I, would, love, I would love to fight at at and Stadium, man. That would that would be a dream come true. Hell yeah! Did you um? Did you happen to go to that fight? Oh, which one? The Canelo and Billy Joe Sanders. Oh uh, no, nah, I didn't go to that one. Now, nah, man, it's the man. That stadium is so big. If you're not dropping some racks to get a floor seat, you might as well just watch it at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like one of my first um, I guess first fight back since in like years. When yeah. that fight. Saw that fight. I was up in like, I don't know, section three something, but it was with all the family and stuff. So it was it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, 
Good time. Yeah, hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I would love to fight there, man. You know, uh, Earl Spence has got a card coming to town. Uh, was that in April? Mm-hmm. So that's something I've mentioned to my management and a promoter to see if they can find a slot on there. Um, you know, maybe we can uh, fight there. But we'll see, man. You know, uh, at the end of the day, my job is just to stay in the gym and stay ready. So that's what I do. Hey, man, bro. Let my subscribers know, you know, where they can find you at social media. Oh, yeah. You guys can find me on uh, Instagram at Eddie Vasquez TX. Um, you can find me on, on Facebook, just, you know, my name, Edward Vasquez. You can find me on Twitter, same as Instagram, Eddie Vasquez TX. Um, you know, give me a follow I'll follow you back. And I'll try to get back to all my, all my supporters, all the messages. Um, you know, I appreciate all the support and, uh, you know, keep looking out for the kid. Hell yeah. Y'all heard it here from Edward Vasquez. Um, real dude, you know, Dallas, Fort Worth, you know, fighting for Texas. And uh, there's a lot of fighters out here, man. But a lot of fighters need to, they need to um, get their credit um, in Texas. And remember that, guys. One love, Carlito. One love. We out. Okay, bro. Appreciate it, man. All the way. Are we going out tonight? All the way. I'm going to chug the bottle, chug it up.